before watching this video, I want to inform you that there are spoilers in it. Take care, let's get started. Three MIT students, Nick, John, and Haley, head to California by car. Haley, Nick's girlfriend, is moving to study at another university and will not be able to see him for a whole year. During one of the stops at the hotel, the guys find the hacker nomad on the network, because of which they were expelled from the university, as he hacked the system and destroyed the servers, and suspicion fell on them. He shows them his capabilities by emailing a link to a podcast from the webcam turned on on the sleeping Haley's laptop, where they see themselves. Using their skills, they manage to figure out where the Nomada computer is, and they decide to get even with it. On the way, John gets a security camera photo on his laptop showing their car driving along the road. On the way, it turns out that Nick wants to part with Haley, since a year later, due to a progressive illness, he can get into a wheelchair. The friends get to the abandoned house late at night and, leaving Haley in the car, go inside. In the basement of an abandoned house, they find empty and dusty server racks, after which they hear Haley screaming. Their car turns out to be open, and the radio independently changes frequencies. Nick shines a flashlight on the sides and at some point sees Haley standing, but she immediately takes off into the air and disappears in the darkness, and the guys notice the lights and run towards them. Nick regains consciousness in an underground research facility, where he is interrogated by Dr. William Damon. He reports that an extraterrestrial creature has been discovered near the house, and refuses to answer the questions asked in response. All doctors wear biological protection suits. Damon explains this by the fact that Nick can be contagious. Damon shows Nick a footage from his video camera from home, where one frame shows the alien's face hiding in the foliage of the trees. The doctor conducts tests to determine the color, shape, etc., which anger Nick. He is also surprised that for all the time he saw only one clock hanging on the wall, but they were also broken, and the hands froze at half past twelve. Nick does not feel his legs, so he is taken in a wheelchair. During his delivery to one of the interrogations, he sees Haley lying in the room, who, according to Damon, is in a coma. In his room, through an air vent, Nick hears John complaining of strange sensations in his body and arms. At the same time, the doctor claims that John was never found near the house. Nick is caught trying to escape with Haley. When he resists, he discovers that instead of legs, he has prostheses made using extraterrestrial technology. Doctors escape from the room, and Damon watches him through the glass and demands from Nick to stick a needle in his vein for his own safety. Nick does not listen to him and gets out with the girl. They manage to get a car, Damon starts pursuing the fugitives, simultaneously eliminating witnesses. Nick and Haley wander through the desert, but realize that the highway suddenly breaks off, running into a huge rift. They then manage to reach an abandoned tourist center, where they find John in a biosecurity suit. Nick puts the girl to bed, paying attention to a strange metal implant protruding on one of her upper vertebrae, as well as a tattoo with numbers, which he found in himself. Jonah reveals to Nick that instead of his arms, he now has cybernetic prostheses similar to Nick's. He believes that they were taken to Area 51. He made this conclusion by adding the numbers on the tattoo, 2.3.5.41, giving the total number 51. Jonah says that this is the serial code not of a specific person, but of this area as a whole, since the numbers on the tattoos are the same for everyone. In the morning, the fugitives take a truck and drive towards the only road that can lead them to civilization. On the way to the exit, the heroes stumble upon a checkpoint. Jonah, wearing protective overalls, tells the masked armed guards that he has been allowed to leave, while Nick and Haley are hiding in the cockpit. But the guards expose him and block the truck with concrete props. Jonah runs out of the cab, making his way to the guard's house, where he discovers a laptop. After which John is seriously wounded. 
and then he decides to detain the soldiers. With his own hands, he knocks down the block of the truck, and Nick and Haley drive away, and John is left to fight. On the way, Nick comes across a blockade from police cars. Damon stands in front, behind him masked commandos holding the road at gunpoint. The guy wants to ram them, but suddenly thrown spikes under the wheels overturn the truck. Haley is picked up by helicopter and Nick is left to lie down. He gets up, after which Damon talks to him, and it turns out that he is Nomad, if you read Damon's name the other way around, it turns out to be Nomad. Nomad says Nick is his best creation, a fusion of human will and extraterrestrial technology. Nick becomes furious and, using his cybernetic legs, breaks the blockade and wants to catch up with the helicopter. But suddenly he breaks through the landscape, which turns out to be a dome, and everything that Nick saw turned out to be just an imitation of the Earth. Damon walks up to him and, smiling, removes his protective mask. Now it becomes clear why all doctors and commandos wore masks and bioprotective overalls. There was only a face in front, and instead of a skull there was only a row of wires. Now Nick realizes that he was on an alien ship. Inside the technical room, where Nick made his way through the screen, the already familiar large earthly numbers, 2.3.5.41 are indicated above, which may be a hint that this whole ship is the creation of human hands. A large black ship, shaped like a jellyfish, flies through space. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos of this kind. See you on the internet. Bye.